What are they screaming at? Wait, what? It could do that? This cat is so freaking evil, guys. Let's talk on call. Yo, okay. Cartoon cat is calling me right now. Yo, excuse me. Yo, what is going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to another freaking banger on the channel today, guys. Now, in today's video, we are going to be watching the Cartoon Cat movie. Well, kind of. I mean, Cartoon Cat doesn't exactly have a movie, like an official movie, but there are tons of animations on YouTube about Cartoon Cat and the story behind Cartoon Cat, and we are going to be checking that out in today's video at 3 a.m., the devil's hour. It is going to be pretty freaking insane, so you guys definitely want to watch to the end of it because it's going to be a banger. Now, if you guys don't know who Cartoon Cat is, here's a picture of him right over here. He's made by the same creator as Siren Head. Creator is Trevor Henderson, and he's like this urban legend of like a creepy cat. I don't exactly know too much about him, which is partly the reason why I'm making this video. So hopefully we can learn a bit about Cartoon Cat. But I know that he eats people and stuff here. Let me just search up Cartoon Cat for a second. Cartoon Cat. Cartoon Cat is a hostile, cryptic, and urban legend created by the artist Trevor Henderson. He's a giant feline creature who resembles a 1930s era a cartoon cat, hence his name. And he's known for eating people and stuff like that. It's a really, really, really creepy cat, basically. And we're gonna be watching movies about him at the devil's hour, so it is gonna be a pretty creepy video. Now, before we get started, guys, today's post notification shout goes to this person right over here. If you guys do wanna win yourself a shout out in one of my videos, just subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications by clicking the bell. We are dropping bangers on top of bangers on top of bangers on this channel. And also subscribe to my second channel, King Crystal. Link is in the pinned comment as well the description down below i upload vlogs and challenges on that channel so if that sounds interesting be sure to check it out and also before we start guys all the animations will be in the description as well as the pinned comment down below if you guys do want to check them out yourself everyone jumped out in fright okay so it's just starting in the middle of nowhere everyone jumped out a cartoon hand was shaking grabbing it back like come on bro you could at least gave an intro to the story but anyways let's keep on going and see what happens before something awful happened john was the first to get out of the store and the first one who saw what's coming for them wait Hello, what i'm the rubber what's up bro hey we bring you a story about one of the scariest urban legend parts all right bet 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 john bet, bet. lucas and ava were about all right so we got john lucas and ava wait no that i'm assuming this is john lucas ava there we go about to do their most enormous hit for their youtube channel oh so they're recording a youtube video as well hey like a youtube video in a youtube video in a youtube video because i'm reacting to this youtube video so it's like three youtube videos in each other wait what to explore and shoot in one of the country's most haunted abandoned shopping malls. Okay, so John's they're the going world. inside a Lucas shopping the mall. Comic relief, and Ava's the pretty face. They were an unstoppable team force that made urban exploration a trend. All right, so I guess they're a team of explorers and they're going into an abandoned mall right now. So let's see what goes down. They were prepared and went out on a Friday the 13th. Okay, so they're going out on Friday the 13th as well. Okay, so this just got a whole lot scarier. Much of their amusement and the viewers. John was the cameraman and they were all excited about the adventure the okay, they're trying to film some bangers too huh to enter the abandoned building yo what the heck is while looking for something that seems remote yo what's wrong with my bands as why does he have devil's in, horns they found that the place was full of plants this place gave them a good first impression and was well preserved but there were clear signs right. that no one cared to bring life again to that place yeah were, of course because it's an abandoned mall of course it's gonna seem abandoned there were rumors that a billionaire company wanted to make the place public again but somehow the project has been forgotten Rip. Places and stores were locked or with difficult access. Nevertheless, they managed to enter the principal hall. All right, so the they're just walking around the mall right now. I guess they're entering the main hall where the fountain is and the stuff like that. Full of garbage, like soda cans, plastic bags, and all kinds of wood. John questioned mm. on how all that stuff managed to end up there. While mm. John was filming on the details that the other two mm. were missing, mm. he mm. found mm. something mm. interesting. Hey. Guys, are those footprints? Those look like footprints. They look like footprints. Yes, yeah, I was right. Use the light. Under the light, those were footprints of an animal, and that's when things got dark. Oh no! Are those cartoon cat footprints? I mean, cartoon cat is technically a cat. Are those cat prints? I mean, they kind of look like it. They look pretty small, you know. If there was an animal presence, they must be prepared. They were loaded with protective equipment. All right, so they came out ready for war, boys. <laughs> John encouraged the others to follow the track, which led to a candy store. Oh no! This store seems well preserved. The so we're going broken. into so a candy store right glass. now. John didn't like loud noises, so the task was given to Lucas. Lucas threw a brick through the glass. The noise was so loud, it could be heard from every corner of this building. Wait, that makes no sense. John doesn't like loud noises, so Lucas decided to throw a 
brick at the glass? Wait, I'm, I'm so confused right now. After a few minutes of inspecting the candy store, a strange music started playing. Yo, that would be the creepiest thing ever. Imagine you're just walking to an abandoned building of any sort, and then you just hear music that starts playing. That would literally just give me the chills. Like, I would run out literally right there. But let's see what these guys are going to do. What's that? Ava asked. It sounds like jukebox music, Lucas replied. For all the people watching this, we are not playing that music. John clarified it to the audience, terrifying, while the music started to get louder. All right, that sure is creepy. It, came from. it was like it came from all sides of the mall. Yo, that makes it even creepier. So not only is the music playing inside the candy store that they're in, it's playing across the entire mall. Suddenly, Ava pointed in one direction and screamed. Oh no. Could be heard a few blocks what the heck is it? Alarming all what are they screaming this? at? John and Lucas didn't what know is it? until they saw what she was pointing at. A tiny being was walking toward Wait, me. it's just a rat. It's just, why are you freaking out? Leaving the same footprints they were following. From a distance, it looks are like- Are they freaking out over a rat? It a little bit like a cartoon said Lucas. Wait, what? How do you move like a cartoon? That makes no sense. I remember this little fella. It's Brucko from an old cartoon my grandpa used to watch when he was young. When it changes its direction, it, it doesn't seem to have a body, like a two-dimensional object. Wait, so it's a 2D object? So it's like a piece of paper almost? Wait, hold on. a three-dimensional plane. For a what moment, the heck? I thought it was a toy, but Brucko had a little understanding of its surroundings. Maybe it's a robot? I have no idea. This commented that when he was a kid, he liked binge watching on some old cartoons with his grandpa and recognized Brucko from there. During the Brucko, recording, John so commented the that there was something similar at the bottom of the store and suddenly, little Brucko began to run. When that similar thing started to stretch itself, What's similar? everyone jumped out in fright. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? A hand was chasing Brucko, grabbing it and pulling it back. So Brucko just got grabbed by a cartoon hand. Yo, this is so confusing right now. It's like a cartoon inside a cartoon because this is technically a cartoon as well. After witnessing a terrible scene they decided to escape that place before something awful happened yo it's just escape them all at this point the store, and the first one who saw what's coming for them oh no Lucas is that cartoon cat to focus on the creature in the main hall of the mall oh no facing the other side so it can't see the guys yo it was contracting itself with little brucko on the other side the creature oh was my god guys tall and it's dark figure 12 feet tall resembled that of a cartoon cat from old animated series. Holy guys, crap, guys. Don't move, whispered Lucas. I think I know what that is. It's bad news. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? With a crack. Yo, are they gonna eat? Is he gonna eat Brooko? No! Brooko made a painful no! Sound it's eating Brooko! In the creature's mouth. No! Little Brooko! Oh my god. No. Rest in peace for my man's Brooko. He had a good run, but his time got up. Eaten by Cartoon Cat. I don't know when he was born, but I guess he died in 2020. <laughs> almost puked when hearing the inferior beings yelling. Oh my god. It tried to escape silently, but the tall creature sensed their presence. It turned its back oh around, no. showing the lack of bone structure. What are they gonna do? Big smile with beast -like teeth. Run! It run! Freaking run! Its eyes were like a cartoon, except for the gums the on its mouth. The whole body structure is black and white. Yo, wait, hold up. They said that the cartoon creatures, the cartoon cat, and the cartoon rat, Rooka, were two-dimensional creatures. I mean, if it's two-dimensional, how can cartoon cat eat it? You, you know what I mean? If it's like a piece of paper like this, if it's two-dimensional, how can you just eat something because like there's no body it's just thin i don't know guys this makes no sense while they were escaping all of them felt the creature's hand grabbing their feet and pulling them down the creature Yo. did not move from its original site its arms were multiplied into tiny ones to hold them wait what it could do that it can multiply arms yo i did not know that see this is why we're watching this animation so we can learn new things about cartoon cat the cartoon cat started to laugh with a foolish tone yo that's that's sort of like slender man i'm pretty sure slender man has multiple arms closer to them john threw his camera at the creature but it avoided the camera easily well rip Knowing your camera nothing they could do john started to kick the arms and ava's feet so she could escape he told her to not look Wait, back what? and run as fast as possible all right so ava escaped looks like john and lucas are pretty screwed right now unless they do something they extract the beast however they could to this day she still doubts whether this decision was the best choice. Wait, what? No. Wait, what happened to Lucas and John? She still sees the creature in her dream, laughing and dancing. 
Like Did she not go help him or anything? Remaining audience itself. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Here, we're gonna watch one more, but why did Ava just leave him? They like saved Ava's life. I thought they kicked the creature's arms or something to let Ava escape. I thought she'd like, you know, maybe call the cops or something, get help, fight back or something like that. But she just left Lucas and John with cartoon hat. Yo, that, that was kind of messed up of Ava, not gonna lie. But anyways, let's check out this next little animation right now. I know. Yo, that is the voice of Cartoon Cat. It's pretty creepy. It's just a rerun. A rerun of my favorite episode. Yo. It's so weird how Cartoon Cat stands on two feet. I mean, normally you see cats standing on like four feet. Cat and mouse. Yo, what the heck? Mouse. <laughs> this is so creepy. Gonna run and scream. My god, oh. guy. This voice is There's literally giving me goosebumps like right now. Yo, what is that? Bones being See, this is what I'm talking about. Cartoon Cat actually eats people too. Sort of like Siren Head. Oh my god, guys. So he can not only have multiple arms, but he can also extend his arms to like an unlimited length is what we've learned so far. This is so creepy. It's almost like a snake, like a python, just wrapping its arms around the body. Okay, so Cartoon Cat is Mr. Steal Your Girl out here as well. What the heck? Imagine you just go to pet a cat and he just bites your hand off. <laughs> Yo, that is some creepy stuff right there. What the heck? Yo, is this taking place in a mall as well? I mean, there's an escalator over here. Is that where Cartoon Cat lives or whatever? In like abandoned malls? You know how like Siren Head is known for like creepy forests? Slender Man is also like originated from forests. I wonder if Cartoon Cat's like his home place or whatever is like abandoned malls and stuff. Knowing that fear was filling the child. Yo. And her cries gave away her pussy. Cartoon Cat is just torturing this man. Wait, what? Imagine you just bite someone's finger and you're like, oh, I didn't mean to hurt you. Like, no, you did mean to hurt them. I came closer to her. I meant to kill you. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, uh. This just got a lot creepier. Again. Oh my God, guys. Yo, I didn't know Cartoon Cat was this evil. Her face into oblivion. Yo, this cat is so freaking evil, guys. And eventually, she died. Mm -hmm. Bro. I wonder how you're gonna do. Because what is he gonna do to him? Run, run right now. Run while you're free. What the heck? <laughs> Yo, what, what the heck is going on with my man's arms? Like, <laughs> like I don't even know. <laughs> Yo, did he just change his voice as well? What the heck? Yo! Better start running. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, I just got a text message from Cartoon Cat right now. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, here, let me open this up. Check it out, guys. I just got a text message from Cartoon Cat saying hello right over here. Here, here, I'll start a screen recording so you guys can see. So he just texted me saying hello. I think he sensed that I was watching these videos or something like that here. I'm just gonna be like, what's up? See what he responds, guys. This is super weird. All right, guys, so he's typing right now. I wonder what he's gonna say. Did you like what you watched? Yo, I was right, so he didn't know that I was watching videos on him. I'm gonna be like, me, kind of, you're so evil, yo. In the last movie or clip that we watched, he was literally torturing that man and, and his girlfriend or wife or whoever it was. This is definitely more evil than Siren Head and Slender Man, in my opinion, at least. Like, even Siren Head didn't go this far, at least I don't think so. I'm just gonna wait to see what he responds. Alright, so he just said he, 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 he. Guys, he is so evil. Like, ah, I don't want to deal with him or anything with him here. I'm going to be like, what do you want? 
I want to fight Siren Head. Yo, I'm not sure if you guys are new to my channel or you guys been keeping up with my channel, but Cartoon Cat has been texting me and kept saying that he wanted to fight Siren Head. Especially in my latest video, I called up Siren Head and Cartoon Cat at the same time. And they both agreed that if it gets 5,000 likes that they might fight each other, but Siren Head seemed super uninterested in all of this. I'm gonna be like, yeah, but I'm not sure if Siren Head is interested. Like, I can't force Siren Head to fight Cartoon Cat. Like, if he's not interested, then it doesn't happen, you know? Let's talk on call. Yo, okay, so Cartoon Cat wants to call me out. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm gonna be like, okay, fine. I mean, it's probably about Siren Head wanting to fight Siren Head and something like that. But like I said, I can't force Siren Head to fight you, Cartoon Cat. But he said he wanted to call me. I said, sure. I, I guess we'll just wait for him to call and see what he has to say about all of this. So, you know, let me stop the screen recording. Hopefully, he gives me a call. Yo, what the frick? Hopefully, he gives me a call very soon. A few moments later. Yo. Guys, he's calling me right now. Yo, Cartoon Cat is calling me right now. Yo, here, here, here. I'm gonna pick up. Let's, let's see what he has to say. Yo, ca Cartoon Cat. Hey, yo, my friend. Yo, hurry, hurry up. My camera's about to die. Guys, my camera's literally about to die. What, what did you have to say? I want you to fight Yo, I told you I can't make you fight. I can't get Siren Head to fight you, bro. Talk to Siren Yo, I'll, I'll try my best. I'll contact Siren Head or something. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Siren Head, all right? What do you mean? What did he tell you? What did she tell you in your latest video after the girl? Yeah, Siren Head told me that Slenderman is still alive. What? I thought Siren Head defeated Slenderman. I mean, apparently not. Slenderman is still alive. Interesting. Anyway, I need you to get Siren Head to fight me. Well, I can't make any promises, but I I'll try my best, alright? Yo, Cartoon Cat is really persistent on getting me to get Siren Head to fight him, even though Siren Head has told me multiple times that this would be a waste of time. Here, I'll play the clip right now. Waste of my time. That was in my latest video when I called Siren Head and Cartoon Cat at the same time, and Siren Head kept saying that he's not willing to fight. But anyways, guys, if you guys do want me to contact Siren Head about this, and hopefully, you know, maybe force him to fight Cartoon Cat. Get this video to 4,000 likes down below. My camera is about to die, so make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at KrishPoya. Subscribe to my second channel, King Krish, down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Subscribe over here, because you guys don't want to be missing out on these banger videos. With that being said, it's your boy, Plasmonids. Peace the freak out.